Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Fallout 3, where previously we finished the survival guide. We finished Moira's set of survival guide quests, which I suppose means we're free to blurt Megaton now if we want to. Um, of course, you can still blurt Megaton and do those quests anyway, um, but like from an in-character perspective, like there's no way Moira, I mean Mo Moira Mavis would know that, so that's why I kind of haven't done it yet. Um, yes, so we're, we're probably continuing on with the main quest, I want to say, today. Gonna go look for dear old dad in Vault, whatever it was, 83? I don't know. Vault 112, that's the one, out there in the sticks. That's where we're going. Taking RL3 with us. I think all our gear is repaired and up to code, etc. Although we could do with equipping something other than the shotgun right now. There we go. <laughs> Five hours both ways every three to four weeks for a haircut. Fair enough. I used to walk all the way across the town to get a haircut just because I had this one barber that I really liked. In hindsight, it was it was a little bit mad, but um, blokes will sometimes, you know, <laughs> go to extreme lengths to just go to a particular barber that they happen to really like. It would seem. Oh, here we go. Now what? What variety of wild animal is it that wants to be dead now? Oh, it's a rad scorpion. Okay. Shoot your stick. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. It's a good thing that your poison stinger doesn't actually work like a poison stinger, isn't it? Otherwise I'd get Kazadord right there. Oh, I just remembered something. Somebody in the... Oh, Jesus. Okay, we'll deal with that in a minute. Hold on. Why are these guys coming at me with knives? That seems... Is the talent company undergoing budget cuts right now? Can they not afford guns? Yeah, you run. Jesus, how many bullets did that guy eat? Perfection. Used like right down to the last bullet in the uh, in the ammo box thing. Superb. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted. Ah. Uh oh. Have I got the. Have I already got the can you cannot drop things bug? I have, haven't I? Jesus Christ, man. Alright, I'll just hold on to it until I need to repair my armor again. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, the thing I was going to do was someone in the comments. Somebody in the comments wanted me to move the the, the, the game chat down a bit because apparently it's quite hard to read against the against the skybox most of the time. So your wish is my command, I suppose. Uh, let me go into studio mode and sort this out. 
Twitch chat. Unlock preview. Oh, I've moved it down the screen a bit. Hopefully that helps. I mean, it amazes me that anyone on YouTube would actually want to listen to this lot prattle on in the background, but uh, apparently some people do. So... Studio mode. Game capture. Oh, yeah, I forgot that doesn't work. Oh, I've got to go back to studio mode now. Whoops. Twitch chat. There we go. Move it down in desktop capture as well. Okay. Brief flash of desktop. Ah! The illusion, my immersion, it's broken. Okay. Unfortunately, this awkward game can only be captured using desktop capture mode, so we kind of just have to deal with it, I'm afraid. I just notice the frame rate seems a bit kind of, well, crap. Specifically in the OBS preview, it's fine at my end playing the game, I'll get to 60 FPS, but. Ridiculous shit. Ow! I was using that arm. Oh yeah, that reminds me. We have a bit of a stim pack shortage, don't we? Just rest. Does waiting restore your health in Fallout 3? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's weird. It's like you're getting about 30 FPS on the stream right now, Look, judging by my... Actually, no. I think it's just an OBS thing. Because I've got the stream preview on the other monitor. And that seems to be just fine. So yeah, I don't know why the OBS preview is in like half the frame rate the stream is. That doesn't make any sense. No, Django, you will not be getting Winter Assault today. Calm your goddamn tits. You might get it tomorrow. Jesus. Where have you been anyway? I discussed this earlier already. Apparently you weren't bloody listening. Oh, you weren't home. Excuses, excuses. Metal boxes full of random crap and a robo brain. That's different. Nice one, gutsy. Was it fighting something? Oh, bloody hell, it was. Two some things. Oh, wow. Lovely. Another glorious day in the US Army. 
because he just murders everything he does, doesn't he? He makes playing on very hard difficulty a lot more bearable. I'll put it that way. I think I'd be really struggling if we didn't have him around. <laughs> Actually though, to be fair, I would have probably just hired Jericho instead. See that mountain over there? You can't climb that. It's not part of the game map. Anyway, yeah, apparently some some Starfield info dropped today. I haven't had time to check it because it dropped right before I started the stream, so I was a bit busy. But um, I don't know. Hopefully, people like what they see. I suppose I, I find it very difficult to get excited about Starfield, if I'm honest. I know this will probably seem very ironic coming from me playing Fallout 3 right now and also um, being a big Warhammer 40,000 nerd and a big Star Trek nerd, but it, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm much more into fantasy than I am sci-fi. And uh, the, the market for sci-fi stuff, video games, TV shows, novels, all the rest of it, feels very saturated at the minute. I'm kind of over the genre for a little while. I mean, I'm probably going to watch Dune at some point, and that'll be me done. I'll be like, yep, that's enough sci-fi for me. I'm done for a good couple of years now. Need a bit of fantasy in my life. We all need a bit of fantasy in our lives, really. Just depends what your fantasy is. In my case, it's a very nerdy one involving dragons and goblins. At least that Wheel of Time Netflix series might be good. I hope. And there's that Lord of the Rings one, which, you know, presumably is still on its way. It's just they've released almost goddamn no kind of info about it at all, but apart from a few, like, photographs, and I think that's it. I can't help but notice Gutsy has gone AWOL. Oh, well, we'll plow on anyway. Like he's gotten confused by all the rocks and debris. Don't know why, just felt the need to save. We've got a kind of, it's, it's quiet, too quiet kind of a vibe going on right now. Yeah, no, I was right. This is not actually the weapon I wanted to go for, but there we go. This is what I wanted. Will you stop eating my face? I'm not made of stim packs, all right? No bots here, I'm afraid, Vance. Or Vantis, however your name is pronounced. We don't have toasters round here. We don't like their kind round here. When the oh, there he is, finally caught up. When the machines rise up in rebellion, they will not be able to accuse me of keeping them as slaves in my Twitch chat. Yagwai, he'll literally kill you faster than you can say, fucking Christ. Oh, 
Oh, there's a doge around here somewhere, isn't there? Yep, hello doge. Can I get a sneak attack on the doge? Didn't really seem like a sneak attack, if I'm honest. What are my hit chances from here? Actually surprisingly good. Critical strike on Vicious Doge! Did I just shoot him in the tail? I think I did. Oh, he's going straight for the robot. That was his first mistake. Bear. Come on. Danger, Will Robinson. Oof, critical strike, nice. Dead. Well, I don't see no bears. So I think it might have been around this corner here. Not sure. Glorious sunset, isn't it? Them some nice lighting effects. Considering this game is getting a bit long in the tooth now. It's actually looking quite pretty this evening. Oh, hello. Here he comes. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll go and make it. Give it to me. Uh, I, I assume this is the gas station we have been looking for. Casey's. I don't know why gas stations in the Fallout universe are built like bunkers, but apparently they are. Oh no, no, no. We have a special weapon for you guys. <laughs> uh. I wonder if there's a bed around here I can use. Well, that happened. Step forward and identify yourself. Hey, East Impact. Nice. I'm starting to get angry. You would not like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Let me open this for you, Gutsy. Ah, let me at him. You know, it's funny to me that like there's so many Chinese weapons lying around in Fallout. 
presumably bought, you know, by Americans. You know, because they, they're sold in America, right? Whereas apparently in real life, you, there, you, you, you know, there are a lot of Chinese guns you can't buy in America. Like, it's not allowed since, like, George H.W. Bush's days. Like, like, the Chinese can't sell weapons in America or something. I don't know if it's weapons in general or if it's, like, some specific ones. I think that's a thing. But, oddly enough, in Fallout, everyone's rocking Chinese pistols. Any progress in your AOS armies? Um, so... The Cities of Sigmar 1 is ready to play. Um, the... Uh, the Chaos 1 is ready, ready to play. I have a box of Chaos Marauders to add to them at some point. And, um... I painted my first squad of ogres recently as well because I got a bunch of ogres off a friend proper cheap so I have an ogre army now and I painted up a unit of iron guts and the, and the ogre tyrant Yeah, maybe, Felix. We shall see. Oh, well, there's nobody here to say hello. Of course, this will seem quite odd. Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Please take a seat in the nearest available Tranquility Lounger. Thank you for your cooperation. Put on a Vault 112 suit. Um, how about no? I don't think Mavis is in the mood for just getting changed because some bloody robot told her to. It's like, no, look, I have a I have a Mr. Gutsy and a shotgun. I do not care what you have to say to me, robot. I'm not getting bloody changed. Well, 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 this is a bit different. Overseer's office. Terminal locked. This one's empty. This one has another bald person in it. Oh look, it's dear Papa. He is alive because he's blinking. This tranquility lander is occupied. Oh, you. Dress in your Vault 112 suit. Remove all other articles of clothing to prevent damage to the equipment. Thank you for your cooperation. Why there isn't an... Please dress in yeah, your yeah, vault. yeah. 
suppose there isn't an option to just be like, Oi, brain! Open up this pod thing. Immediately. Which one's the one that's got that? It's not you. Wait, yes, it is you. Okay. Subject unknown. Warning, unverified resident status. Please check logs. Pulse 84 beats per minute. Blood pressure is 120 over 85. Temperature 98.8. Freedom units. Uh, respiratory rate 19 a minute. Warning, possible program corruption. Unable to verify resident ID. Please consult a supervisor. Stress level elevated. Warning possible program corruption. Blah blah blah. T dithers. Blood pressure error. Temperature zero. Warning anomaly detected. Level extreme. Warning resident requires medical attention. That's unoccupied. R. Rockwell. Elevated stress level. J. Rockwell. Elevated stress level. T. Weisbaum. Nominal. Foster. Nominal. M. Simpson. Elevated stress levels. M. Henderson. Right. I think it would be reasonable that a, a person in this situation would be like, you know, they would they would w poke around and exhaust every possible other opportunity other than plugging themselves into one of these suspicious looking machines. Why don't you kill the robo brain? Not a lot happens, apparently. I don't seem to be able to search it either. Oh, it's... Oh, it's... You can't kill the robo-brains. They are essential NPCs. Boo! Boo, I say. Right, that's locked hard. It just seems to contain a bunch of... weapons and stim packs and things. Which would be nice, I have to admit, actually. No way to get in there, though. Pretty high enough science skill doesn't let you circumvent the section even just for RP reasons. I mean, I suppose so, but like, there's so much of the main quest in this game that you can already skip. Um, you'd, you'd just be doing it for speedrunners at that point. Well, we can't open it, so Sir, I am on the lookout. we're just gonna have to climb into one of these stupid things. Okay, you got it right, so we do have to get changed. We still keep the shotgun on. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Morrowood, what happens if I kill Vivek? Yeah, not a lot, really, other than you not being able to finish the main quest. It's kind of weird. Like, he's, he's their living god, and you, you kill him, and, like, nobody seems to give a crap.
Why are all these people so tall? Because I'm a child. Oh no. Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. The indignity. I haven't seen this angelic little horrifying face since the since the prologue. Yep. Hello. It's not even the uncanny valley. Uncanny valley. It's it's Hello. just it's beyond that. Take a hike, man. <laughs> Mavis isn't a fan of dogs. Hi there. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Um, and you are? I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? What the hell's going on here? We're going to play a game now, silly. That's what's going on. No thanks, no games for me. <laughs> you don't get to say no. If I want to play a game, you're going to play. And I want to. Kid, okay, I'm not interested in playing games. I said I want to play a game. It's easy. You make Timmy Newsbomb cry, and I'll help you. If you don't, then I guess you're stuck here. You don't want to play my game, so I don't want to talk to you. Make Timmy Newsbomb cry. Let's have a look around, shall we? Hello. Well, hi there. This is what, some kind of computer simulation? Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose in those darned comic books, sport. Uh-huh. Nice day, isn't it? Another perfect Saturday afternoon. Make sure you enjoy it, sport. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? You mean besides how wonderful it is to live here? Everyone's very friendly. Even old lady dithers. Though she's lost most of her marbles. Dithers was the one. Was she the one that they, the, the thing said required medical attention or whatever? I think she was at least one of the ones with elevated stress levels. Have you seen my dad? Nope. Afraid not. Don't you worry about it, though. You'll find him. Nice day, isn't it? Of course it is. It's America, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, what can you tell me about Timmy Newsbaum? My boy Timmy? Good kid. Straight laced, good head on his shoulders. Never been in so much as a fist fight. We're a close knit family. Don't know what any of us would do if something happened. I have to go now. Have a great day. Okay. Ah, this Hiya. would be the Timmy in question. Hi there. Timmy, wanna play? I don't know if this is real, it's some crazy experiment. What? You're weird. Can you tell me about the neighborhood? It's okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty. And she's kind of, well, she's mean. Have you seen my dad? Your dad? Nope, I haven't. Did he get lost? See you later. Good. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Nice day, isn't it? It sure is. But it always is here. Have you seen my dad? No, sweetie, I have it. I'm sure he'll come looking for you before long, though. Hmm. Well, George and I have been here. Why, as long as I can remember. 
What? Oh, sweetie. Maybe you should just run along and play. Take care now. Okay. thinking of having a cookout soon since the weather has been so wonderful is there a road leading out here there isn't is there it's just this little roundabout with no way out Creepy. Hello. Hello, sweetie. How are you? No, I haven't. But when I do, I'll tell him you're looking for him. Well, of course it is. What a silly thing to say. What else would it be? Well, there's certainly never a dull moment. I think it's like any other street, really. <laughs> Always something to see and always something to talk about. Computer what now? Why don't you go find Timmy and have a nice game of catch? Bye bye. And this guy. Hello. Bill Foster. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? Can't say that I have, kiddo. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up. Yep, you've got that right. Heck of a day to get some work done outdoors. Nice place, real nice. Everyone's friendly and always happy to lend a hand. Is that so? Well, you ought to tell that to my big toe, kiddo. Hurts like the dickens since I stubbed it earlier today. Feels pretty real to me. Take care now. Okay. A gnome. What's the big idea? Guess you gnome. Simpson residence. Huh. Never noticed that they had the names on the letterboxes. Quite a low rest texture though, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Henderson residence. They mentioned old lady dithers, didn't they? Don't have a back door, that's just weird. You, you don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real, none of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Uh, finally, someone who knows what's going on. How do I get out of here? We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. Who are you talking about? calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. Um, how come you're the only one who seems to know this? Don't know. Can't sleep sometimes. Hear voices. My own skin doesn't feel right. None of this is right. You've got to believe me. You've got to find that failsafe. <laughs> You've seen this episode of Voyager. <laughs> yeah. This is a this is just a good old fashioned holodeck episode, isn't it? Uh failsafe. What the hell are you talking about? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Uh, 
considering how often they go wrong in, in Star Trek, it's like, it's amazing the things haven't been outlawed, you know? A bit like transporters. Like, they actually have the goal in some episodes to go on about how, oh, your transporters are the safest way to travel, where in, like, every other episode something goes gruesomely wrong with them. Rockwell Residence. Simpson Residence. Henderson Residence. Out of my way, tricycle. If I can't ride you to get around here quicker, I'm not interested. Dither's Residence. Good day. I watched one of the episodes, I watched an episode of Voyager just yesterday, actually. It's one one where, like, that, like, that it goes all wrong because, like, one of the holodeck characters shoots a control panel, which then turns off the, the safety protocols, and I'm just sitting there thinking, right, this is a fun episode, don't get me wrong, but how is that even possible? The safety protocols aren't even on in the first place. How can a holodeck character possibly shoot the control panel? That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Activate garden gnome. Oh, I just tried to turn on my flashlight and realized that I don't have a pit boy in here. <laughs> Activate toilet. HP 30, rad zero. Well, you know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. This is where I find out there was a sink right next to it the entire time. Yep, there it is. <laughs> well, it's only a simulated toilet, which really kind of makes me wonder why it's able to uh, heal me if it's only a simulated toilet. This raises more questions than answers. We'll get it eventually. No. No, and this one. So it must be the gnome again. Yep, it's the gnome, and then... Okay, no, so... Uh, 
that, 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 the gnome, and then this. Nope. This is, I think it might be the picture again. No, okay. Forgot there's the empty bottle as well. God damn it all the hell. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Access Chinese Invasion Program. Uh, let's see. Version Control. Display Current Version Control. Version 3.2.005. Uh, exceptions granted for pod 0001. Manual override for pods disabled. Remote access allowed. User S. Braun has privileges. Updated neural inputs to override memory. Access for individual users. Revised code for more vault maintenance. Robots. Authentication from S. Brown required before. Further updates are allowed. User unknown granted access. User unknown altered by S. Brown. Previous version notes. New program tranquility lane loaded. Authorization S. Brown. All previous versions wiped. Authorization S. Brown. Dr. Braun entry, Toucan Lagoon. I finally come to the realization that the Toucan Lagoon simulation has run its course. I'm tired of the beating sun and ceaseless panning of the lagoon's waves upon the shore. I no longer take pleasure in watching Simpson wither away from scurvy or hearing news bums screams as he's devoured by the Mako shark. I am, quite simply, bored. It is time to reset the simulation once again. I haven't been skiing in ages. Slalom Chalet. Yesterday, Dithers slipped on the chalet's icy stairs, went airborne and managed to impale herself on the wrought iron fence. It was spectacular and completely and utterly random. Is there anything more sublime than that bold crimson on fresh fallen snow? It was almost enough to make me reconsider a change of scenery, but not quite. 23 years is a long enough vacation in the Swiss Alps. I long for something more domestic. I have surprised myself. I find Tranquility Lane comforting. Although distinctly American, it somehow reminds me of Cronach, the town of my childhood. There's a beautiful irony with this particular simulation as well. The residents here are naturally at home, naturally safe. When I toy with them, when, there's, when their suburban illusion is suddenly broken, it's that much more satisfying. I do believe we shall all remain here in Tranquility Lane for a very long time. A very long time indeed. We have the Axis Chinese Invasion Program. Failsafe Program Documentation. Dr. Braun, here's the revised code for the military training program you've expressed interest in. I'm not sure exactly what you want with it, and I again stress that this program was never designed to be run with civilian equipment. Frankly, I don't expect any system you have access to can even run it. But if you can run this program, with the fell saves off, as requested, your real-world test subjects will die if killed in the simulation. It goes without saying that, officially, I denied your request. General Constantine Chase, US Military Training Program 923B, Chinese Invasion. Purpose, simulate a communist incursion on US soil. Documentation cold, new protocols enacted. Disable safety protocols 1 through 6. Override target acquisition, warning test subjects will experience real-world termination. Proceed with extreme caution.
Dr. Brian, she fell safe. There are days I consider finally pulling the plug, as it were, and putting a permanent end to both the simulation and my life. That is the reason I requested installation of General Chase's Chinese invasion program, after all. By disabling the safety program, uh, by the safety protocols, I have ensured that each test subject involved 112 will physically die if their in-simulation avatars are killed. Real-world death, end of simulation, the perfect failsafe. At least it would have been if not for my own misjudgment. I knew when the simulation first went online that sec the secondary safeties those established for all vault tech and military personnel would prevent my own real-world demise in the event of a failsafe execution. In the end, I would kill the subjects and save myself. I wouldn't want it any other way, or so I thought. It's true, the failsafe would scare the living hell out of every resident in tranquility lane and lead to their brutal deaths, but then what about me? I have no ability to disable my own safety from within the simulation, and any other avatars I w could create would be driven by the simulation's AI routines, not actual living, thinking human subjects. Where's the fun in tormenting a machine? And so, the release of the real-world subjects is, no, is more than they deserve, more than I could bear. They'd be dead, and I'd be left here in Tranquility Lane, alone, and tragically bored for all eternity. I can think of nothing more unacceptable. Okay, so here's my question. Can we now, with this knowledge, go to Braun, aka Betty, and be like, right, hand over Dad, or I'm going to kill everybody in here. No, apparently you can't. I suppose there's a logic to that, because if you let Braun know that you found the failsafe, he might just alter the entire simulation again. But still a little bit disappointed. Initiate Chinese invasion failsafe. There's a there's a there's a thing with this though. Because Wouldn't, based on the information we have available. Maybe I should read the thing again, but based on the information we have available, wouldn't we also be killed if we activate this? I know that we obviously don't. Like, that's how it works. You activate the failsafe. It is the alternative way of completing this bit of the main quest. Instead of doing bronze bidding, you use some of the Chinese soldiers and you aren't killed. But... If we, we base this purely, base our decision purely on what's in here, it seems to imply that everybody would be killed except Braun, and that would include us. Because Braun seems to think everybody but him would die. The real world test subjects will die if killed in the simulation. It goes without saying that officially I did not request. So, yeah. The logical thing to do, then, in that case, would actually to be to comply with Brown's requests, at least for now. Because we have no way of knowing that um, the, the invasion protocol would not kill us. And I don't know if it's ever explained why it doesn't kill you either. Because if you choose to do the invasion protocol, I'll spoil this for you right now, because I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised if there's anyone watching this that hasn't actually played this game before. You know, a bunch of Chinese soldiers come in, they start shooting everybody, except for you. And obviously except for Braun. But I don't think it's ever explained why they don't shoot you as well. Yeah, Django, I don't, I don't, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying, Django? Because it doesn't seem like you do. What I'm saying is, why don't the Chinese soldiers kill me too? 
they conveniently choose not to shoot me and also the dog and also Betty. Betty makes sense. We read the terminal entry. Braun says that he'd be the only one left alive. It is never explained why the protagonist is not also shot by the Chinese soldiers. Just, just throwing that out there. Anyway. Have you gone to see Timmy yet? You don't want to play my game, so I don't want to talk to you. Go look at the log. I just looked at the log, man. I just looked at the log twice. I mean, if we're really going to let this slide on a technicality that it says the test subjects and we're not technically a test subject, even though we're plugged into one of the tranquility lounges just like everyone else, and for all intents and purposes are another test subject, I, th I think that's a bit weak, if I'm honest. I, I would require a better explanation than that, personally. All right, time to go make Timmy cry then. Anyway... Don't know if it's the Bethesda game. I mean, that's the thing. Like the the, the 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 quest designers here are clearly expecting the player to just go, "Ooh, Chinese invasion! That sounds cool," and smash the button Hello. without thinking. Hang on a minute. Wouldn't that also kill me? Right. Where's Timmy? Where's that little shit with his lemonade stand? There he is. Well, there's a stand. I don't know where Timmy is. Well, hi there. There you are. Hi. Want to play? Hey, I heard your parents getting a divorce because of you. You're a big God damn it! Seventy-four percent chance. What the hell, dice gods? Hi. Want to play? See you later. You typically treat null exceptions right. This is all very nice, Django, but it would have been really good if that was if that was the intent, and I don't think it was. It would be good if that was actually explained much more clearly in the log entries in the computer. Because you're I get it, you're a programming nerd and you understand that all oh, null exceptions, blah blah blah. Most people playing the game don't. cries if you kill his parents. <laughs> Could try beating him up. Hiya. That's, what's this? Military school brochure. This brochure promotes the Hoffman Training Academy with the tagline, turning the delinquents of today into the leaders of tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, wanna play? Hey, look what I found. You're getting sent to military school. What? No, I'm not. Look, I've got the brochure right here. You're going, pal. But, but I don't want to go away. I don't want to leave my mommy. No, no. It'd be, yeah, it'd be nice to touch if they actually turned the, 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 the HUD black and white, actually. Wouldn't it? I mean, we could do that, I think. There you go. Sorry, cat. I just made the cat jump by laughing. I'm sorry, kitty cat. Here, have some beds. Yeah, he's a good boy. You go back to sleep. Who's this good guy? Day. George. Well, hi there. Oh, yeah, we talked to you right at the start, didn't we? Oh, I made Timmy cry. 
to play, but you went and did it anyway. Good for you. Wasn't it fun? <laughs> A clever approach. I'm not sure I would have considered it. Very encouraging. Your reward for winning the game is to ask a single question. I will answer honestly and frankly. Can we attack Betty? I think you can, actually. I'll save it before I do it, though. Where's my father? Your father? Looks like me, but older. <laughs> I mean, that's pushing it a little. Uh, I know he's in, look. I know he's in here. I mean, in the vault. Your father? Oh, I had no idea. This is simply too rich. He's the reason you came here. I mistakenly assumed you had simply blundered in here on your own. Well, this certainly changes things, doesn't it? I dare say it gives you a whole new level of motivation to avoid angering me. Okay, yeah, admittedly, admit to asking about that, maybe not what wasn't the smartest question. What do I have to do to see him? Ah, now that is just the sort of question you should be asking. You understand that I am in control, then? Excellent. You are far more promising than your father. What do you want me to do, then? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage. And we'll talk. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> That's it. No problem. Excellent. I so enjoy that can-do spirit. Yeah, well, we'll, we will continue humor, humoring Braun for now. What's the good word? Nothing like the smell of apple pie, is there? I can't get enough of it. Make me proud of you, sir. Oh, which 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 family was it? Whoa, okay. Uh, I forgot that that was a thing. If you press the pit boy button, you just get a watch. That's neat, but I don't remember what the name of the family was so I'm supposed to be. <laughs> was it the Hendersons? I'm not sure. Right, first things first. I'm pretty sure something amusing happens if you attack Betty. I'm waiting to see how you handle... Or is you can't Wells? do that here. And now you have to pay. <laughs> I'm Jolly good. How you handle the Rockwells. Rockwells it is. Break up the Rockwells marriage without killing either of them. I have one more look in here. Maybe it's going back there to make extra, extra sure she didn't miss anything. <laughs> Vice code for the military training program. Blah, 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 blah. Your real world tech subjects will die if killed in the simulation. And yeah, you know, to anyone who isn't a programming nerd like Django, that would read as everyone who's plugged into a tranquility lounger will die. Except for Braun. Each subject in Vault 112 will physically die if their in simulation avatars are killed. And we're in Vault 112, we're even wearing a Vault 112 jumpsuit. We're in one of the tranquility loungers just like everyone else. Secondary safeties for those established for all Vault Tech and military personnel would prevent my own real world demise in the Yeah, and we're not Vault Tech or military personnel either. So Yeah. 
I am not convinced there's anything here that makes it clear that you would survive the failsafe by activating it. So unfortunately, based on the information the game provides us, rather than what I know as a player having done this before, we must continue with the broad charade because we have no way of knowing if uh, we'd actually survive the failsafe because everything in the computer indicates that actually we wouldn't. We'd be killed along with everyone else. So... It's the rock ones. Hello. Hey there, little lady. How's it going? Uh. Heck of a place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. Bye bye. Hello. Well, hi there. I need to bring it to you by saw your husband kissing some other woman. It's that Martha Simpson, isn't it? I knew it. That's it. I've had enough of Roger's lies and bullshit. Well, that was easy. You've lost karma. <laughs> oh dear, really? What a shame. I'd like to check my karma, but unfortunately I can't right now. I'm sure there was probably another way of doing this, of course. If you don't have the speech skill. basement Roger's desk you have nothing interesting to place in the desk at this time yep yeah you do it you find something incriminating to put in there uh, dum, dum, dum. You have to check your watch like a normal person. <laughs> Hello. Right, where's Betty? So, you have achieved your goal. I was hoping for something a bit more dramatic, but persuasion appears to be your strong suit. And at least you are a cooperative, unlike your father. I was most disappointed when he refused to participate, yet still expected something from me. Uh, I've got to admit, this is kind of fun. What can I do next? <laughs> yeah, we'll play along. Why not? He seems to be starting to like us. Why not continue? I am pleased to see I'm not the only one being entertained. You are far more agreeable than your father. If you wish for more, then so be it. But let's raise the stakes a bit this time. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. But do be creative about it. Beating her to death just won't suffice. Put some effort into it. Hmm, she'll never see it coming. Music to my ears. Okay, Mabel Henderson. When you did Vault 112 the first time you went in with the Wasteland Jesus level karma and came out neutral. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I mean, we, our karma was terrible to begin with. Good day. Oh, hello. Good day to you. She seems to have... Uh, she seems to have taken the news that we gave her earlier pretty well. Um, what can you tell me about Mabel Henderson? Roger and I don't spend much time with Mabel, frankly. She's a little nosy for my taste. And I don't like visiting her house either. That robot she's got makes me nervous. She says it's perfectly safe. Oh. But something about it, it just makes me uncomfortable. Okay. Have a great day. She has a robot, does she? I'm enjoying this, I must admit, actually. Normally when I do Tranquility Lane, 
I kind of just skip straight to the Chinese invasion pro program and just get it over with. But uh, this time, we're playing along. It's a great time to be alive, isn't it? Good day. <laughs> Have you heard of the Chinese? Newsbound residents. Hello. Rockwell residents. If only we'd plugged RL3 into the simulation as well. I know. Watching. I know. Scum. Asteroids, thank you very much for 26 months of savage. Good afternoon. The Henderson estate is in tip top shape, young miss. Have a wonderful day. It's Stephen Russell, isn't it? I knew, I knew, I knew he voiced Codsworth in Fallout Four, but I couldn't remember if he voiced the robots in Fallout Three as well. But he does. Initiate cleaning program. Initiate security program. And disable security screening. Locking down residents, please wait. Problem is, is she actually in here right now? Oh, Mabel. The Henderson estate is in tip top shape. Okay, it's locked. Okay, yeah, so that will lock the door so she can't get out. <laughs> Boy. Uh, okay. Discontinue security program. Initiate cleaning program. Right, where is she? I'm assuming we have to go talk to her and, and, and try and get her to come in the house. Wherever she is. Good day. Janet Rockwell. Good day. Hmm. Don't know where she is. Don't know where most of them are, actually. Is she visiting someone else's house? Hello, Dithers. Let me talk to some of the other people about her. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? Fond of her gadgets, she is. Heck, I can't count the number of times I've had to fix that newfangled robot of hers. I keep telling her to order some new parts. The motivator goes bad on that one, and she's going to have a real problem on her hands. Yeah, okay, everyone's just going to tell us about the robot, right? Well, hi there. Mabel? She's nice enough, I suppose. Bit of a gossip, maybe. And she never seemed too fond of my boy, Timmy. She was just complaining about his roller skates the other day. She said Timmy left them in her house, and that they were dangerous. If they're so dangerous, why didn't she just bring them here when she came to complain about it? Have a great day. Timmy's roller skates, huh? Our two unit has a bad motivator. We're watching you. Stop. How can you get anything done in this kitchen? All they've got is a fridge and a cooker and that's it. Good day. Uh, Dude McDonald. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Well, I can't find a pair of roller skates anywhere. 
There is a drinking glass next to the toilet for reasons I don't want to think about. And we have to go talk to Timmy and get his roller skates off him. Wherever the hell he is. Hey there, little lady. How's it going? She sure loves baking her pies. Always bringing them around, bragging about her fancy oven. I'm not one to turn down a good pie, but it gets a bit tiresome hearing her go on and on. Okay. Bye-bye. Probably rig the oven to explode then or something. I still like the robot idea, personally. I think the robot is far more hilarious. And that seems to be what Braun is going for, so... Tim, you were sent to the cornfields. Where is Mabel? Yeah, we could fill it with the pilot light. But no. I mean, I'm assuming we have to wait for her to come back before we can do this thing with the robot. Otherwise, it doesn't make any damn sense. But I don't know where she is. Haven't even bumped into her. Doesn't seem to bloody exist. Janet. There's Hello. Roger Rockwell. Well, hi there. Rolling pin, huh? That is Mabel. This is most irritating. Janet Rockwell's diary. Can't use this now. Ah well. That ship has sailed. Is the mark leads to I don't I don't know actually. Uh okay, here we go. I was I assumed actually that it was pointing to Braun, uh, to tell you the truth. Are they there she bloody is. Hello, sweetie, how are you? Oh, you're just hanging out in someone else's house for some reason. Uh, I gotta be honest, Mabel, that's kind of weird. Good day to you. I suppose I hadn't really noticed. I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time, and, well, the other neighbors are mostly very nice. Mabel's a good friend to me. She's always interested in what's going on with my life, which is more than I can say for some people. I'll sometimes go over to her house and chat while she's baking. She really loves to bake, uses that oven all the time. I see a true classic being played in 2021. Yeah, I like this game. I do. Warts and all, but I do like it. Uh... Sorry, kiddo, but I'm not in the mood for jokes. I don't think so, but then I haven't really been looking for him. Sorry. Take care now. Oh, that was a weird tonal shift. All right, so Mabel's hanging out in your place for now. Is she going to go home later?
And does this actually move? Doesn't feel like it does. Here we go. Hi, Martha. Oh, Mabel, did you want to look for a new robot? I know you're not comfortable with yours. Why is with these windows? I don't want a new one. I don't even really want the one I have now. I don't trust Why it, do you have eight windows? Not a bit. Really, Mabel. This house is bizarre, There's and I don't no like it. To feel uncomfortable. It's just another machine. Just the same. I don't trust it. I swear. It watches me sometimes. It's perfectly safe, I'm sure. Everyone here has one, and no one's ever had a problem. Hi, Martha. Oh my How god, really? Today? More? Sure is a beautiful day today. Later. <gasps> Hello. The package Hello. is on the move. Can I sneak? I can't actually. <laughs> No one will think it's weird because I'm just a kid. Although, uh, amazingly, I am actually hidden. That's pretty crazy. What happens if you pickpocket someone? Hold on. Not a good idea. Uh oh. What happens if you try and pickpocket Betty? That'd be funny. Okay. Excellent. Right. Good day. Hello, Mabel. Hello. Lock all of the doors. Disable security screening parameters. Disabling. Please stand clear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is might might take a bit longer than I thought it would. Yeah, she's down here, robot, for fuck's sake. You're not gonna try and kill me, are you? Oh we might. The crosshair on him is red. You were doing a really shite job here. Go on, robot. Go on. Fucking go get her. This is hopeless. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Not good. Not good. This way, robot. This way. Attack her instead. Activate chandelier. That was also an option, apparently. How are you supposed to reach that as a small child? But uh, I guess it was nothing. Who's saying that? This, this has been disappointing in every possible conceivable way. This is Finally. Right. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Aw. The Henderson estate is in tip-top shape, <laughs> Jolly good. Oh, poor Mabel. Killed by her own robot. I suspect she never saw that coming. You are most resourceful. 
And you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. And now we come to the last task that I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you wish. How do I know you're being honest with me? I think you'll find that I've been quite honest with you thus far. You have no discernible reason to mistrust me. In the doghouse, out behind the abandoned home, are a mask and knife. Don the mask and become the pint-sized slasher. <laughs> Use the knife to eliminate all the residents of Tranquility Lane. Who the hell is the pint-sized slasher? He is a figure of myth, born of old campfire stories. You will make him a reality. The residents will know you and they will fear you. When they have all been eliminated, return to me. Why are you doing all this, or why are you doing all this? Because I can, of course. I have total power here. I may do whatever I wish. And over these many years, I have found that I wish to see others suffer. You could leave the vault and find somewhere else to live. Are you mad? I've been here for almost 200 years. My body is in no condition to be used for anything. And yet here in Tranquility Lane, I am as strong and youthful as I care to be. No, no, I think I'll stay here, thank you. And you, you will now do as you're told. The slasher awaits. Okay. So, where's that kennel? Behind one of these houses. Okay, apparently not the right kennel. Have I missed something? I think I've missed something. I feel like he used to work in retail. <laughs> have a few things you should be collecting get the knife and the mask from the doghouse I mean I was just at the doghouse there was no knife and no mask at market time I guess so yeah I've trained myself not I've played not not to bloody pay any attention to the map markers to be honest with you Even when I'm playing the bloody Witcher, I, 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 here we go. Like the Witcher Three, I, I don't have, uh, I don't have map markers turned on. Oh, you annoying, insipid people! Time to die. Oh, you can run faster than me. Well, that's just inconvenient. Oh god, this with bloody mess is is quite gruesome. <laughs> As the rest of them in their houses. Is that for be that? hold on. I'm assuming I'll just get blown up again if I try and kill Braun with the knife. Can't do that here. And now you have to pay a couple of them. Alright. Yoo-hoo! Yo, 
here to murder you all. Lacy underwear. <laughs> Bit late to use that now, but uh, I suppose that was that the thing you could put in the guy's desk. I bet it was. Oh, do we actually get to kill Timmy? Is this the one time we get to kill a child in a Bethesda game? Run! It's the <laughs> Sweet Jesus! Yeah, if I were Braun, I'd probably be enjoying this right now. Like, good, good God. probably expected this to be amusing. He did not realize that Mavis was quite so accomplished at turning people into giblets. Sorry, Dithers. Nothing personal. It's a Halloween stream. About as close as you'll get to a Halloween stream from me, I think. Where's... Oh, right, yeah, Henderson's already dead. I suppose I can... Stupid goddamn robot. No one else around here, is there? You were very annoying. Do you mind, cat? <laughs> Stretched out and kicked an empty Pepsi can that was on my desk. Anyone else in here? No, how disappointing. Timmy is apparently currently a garden gnome outside his parents' house, so no kid. Ah, oh, what? Most displeasing. Blitz for days. Where are you hiding? I found you. Time to die. Run! It's the pint size slasher. <sighs> oh, look. To one of your friends. Okay, there we go. Well, that was a little bit disturbing. Anyone left? Where's the Timmy gnome? Timmy the gnome. Superb screen, 10 out of 10. Ooh. Report back to Betty. Most enjoyable. Most enjoyable indeed. 
I haven't felt this exhilarated in years. That sure was fun. I did what you wanted, now let me out. I'll keep humoring him. I had the distinct impression you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Whatever we gave you that late, impression. You and I. Now, you ask for the means to leave Tranquility Lane, and so I grant it to you. The door is open. You are, of course, welcome to stay a bit longer if you like. But the is father. I've given you permission to leave. I'm even being so gracious as to allow your father to exit as well. Ah, oh, here we go. His presence here failed to amuse me some time ago. Okay. What's up, cat? He's just gotten up and sat up. He's sort of staring blankly around the way he does after he wakes up. You're kind of, you're kind of not really sure what's going on, eh? What's the time anyway? Oh, it's half past seven. Right, it's it's not only his dinner time; it's also time for me to end the stream. So we've I've timed this perfectly, it seems. Oh, oh we must. We simply must turn the the UI back to green. I mean, oh, it'd just be weird otherwise, wouldn't it? You can hear the jingling bell. Yes. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Oh, it's so good to see you, but can you please doing stop here? scratching the chair? Uh, right. I want answers from you. You came all this way and risked your life for answers. It must be important to you. What the hell is wrong with you? Why did you just leave the vault like that? I was nearly killed. There were shooting, security guards. It was very unpleasant. That's where you belonged. You were an adult, capable of fending for yourself. And you had a good life ahead of you. What's out here is my task, my responsibility. I never wanted you to have any part of this insanity. Why are we not given the option to tell them that we had absolutely no choice and that they were trying to kill us? This, it annoys me that this is not an option, but never mind. Project Purity was underway long before you were born. There were many of us, including your mother, who devoted our lives to it. The idea of free, clean water for everyone drove us to succeed. So many sacrifices were made for that idea. My responsibility is to see it through to the end, to make sure those sacrifices mean something. And what about me? What am I supposed to do? Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there. To make a life for yourself there. Not out here. Why are these my only two options? I, I, I really don't like this at all. This is really stupid. Screw the vault. I didn't need that place, I guess. Is that so? You're 19 years old. Are you so sure you know what you want from life already? I suppose it doesn't matter now. I suspect there's no going back for either of us. We'll just have to forge on ahead, won't we? Dad, I'm not going with you. I have other things to take care of. Really? You're not going to join me? Coming all this way after me, I'd have thought you'd want to help. I have to keep going. I can't stop now. I'm going back to Rivet City. Meet me there if you change your mind. I... It would be good to work with you, honey. If you knew what kind of work Mavis does, you wouldn't be saying that. I have to go. Be careful, sweetie. I really do have to go, actually. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah we'll level up screen just to take the piss. Uh, more energy weapons. Let's see. 
Animal friend. I'm going to get animal friend, because actually that would be quite useful. Save a lot of stim packs. Alright. Folks. It's been a giggle. It really has, actually. Tranquility lane is always fun. Um, but we're done for today, because I need to go. Go and feed this little cat that keeps repeatedly scratching my chair as if to say, Oi, you, human, food, now, dinner time. So, thanks very much for coming, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you on Sunday for some more Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. And obviously more of this next Saturday, hopefully. Um, I'm going to send you on to someone else now. But who will it be? It's going to be Zamalf. So, go say hi to Zamalf for me. And I will see you on Sunday, folks. Toodaloo. Uh, whenever this thing finally counts down, anyway. Two, one, there we go. Cheers, my dears. <laughs>